Hello my friends, it is episode 45. Everything is ready, so let's go. The Battle of the Peak. What the hell is all this? Concentrate your fire on them. Damn it, they explode when we take them out. Try to avoid attacking at close range. They seem stronger than before. Is it because of the blood splatter from the explosion? Thank heaven, someone can still be reached. Who's that? An MID agent? It's me, guys. Don't come any Don't come out Don't come any over. The rendezvous point has been compromised. Take the mission objectives and get out of here. Sergey! There's a dead URNC soldier up ahead. Here it is. I see the Tassa members. Wait, a Shrike puppet? Could it be? Ligaru? A puppet? You mean those strange URNC soldiers? Be careful, they're products of the Shrike. I need to find a way to support the Tassa member. Achieve victory objective within 20 turns. <clears throat> Jufti and Mondo are not hit by bloodburst trait. Deal 330 damage that ignores armor to enemy units within two tiles when defeated. Okay. Got him. <clears throat> you just better get out of there. Nice. Ouch. Man, these things are really resistant to uh, gunfire. Not that. 
Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else to do on this level. For now. <clears throat> the snowing has lightened and can no longer conceal the smell of blood. Just how has so many people died? I think I saw the captain fall over there. Are they also? In the end, it turned out like this. Here you are at last, my dear sister. Wait for you has been so hard, they were all so weak. They all died before I could even start playing with them. So bored, sister, come play with me. Oh dear. Why is it calling you, sister? Where's Liguru? She's right there. Her consciousness has been banished and imprisoned. The consciousness that now occupies Liguru's body belongs to the Shrike Progenitor. The progenitor changed Liguru's appearance to resemble the original form of the B Shrike. The Beta Shrike! I know, yeah, I know it's Beta, but... Anyway. Sister, why are you ignoring me? Don't call me sister. You're just a mimic. Is that what you've been worried about? Yes. Without the Neural Inhibitor, the Progenitor can easily take over Liguru's body. Now's not time to talk about this. Let's defeat her first and I'll find a way to free Liguru's consciousness. Normal attack deals more than 3,000 damage to beat a Shrike in a single hit. How on earth am I going to do that? Okay, she's only got 45 attack, but she never misses. Three thousand damage in a single hit. Collapse and bombardment is the only skill I have that's capable of doing that kind of damage. using her AP rollover skill. Summoning new puppets, watch out for the bodies on the ground. Shrike cells devour and control them, feeding on the corpses all over the ground. I need to get 15 SP together so I can actually use Reverse Collapse. When these things resurrect, do they... 
do they get the opportunity to uh, attack? Okay. <clears throat> well, it looks like my standard weapons work, which is helpful. Strike is too dangerous. Let's hurry and leave together. I have to take leisure with me. Hurry, go down the mountain and make sure the extraction point is safe. Alright, contact headquarters to get more reinforcements. Here, take this. It might come in handy. Oh man, she just ate those. The Beta Shrike will continuously release toxic blood mist. Try to control your breathing. Concentration of blood mist will continue to increase over time. The longer you're exposed to the blood mist, the more damage it, the more it will damage your body. All the way until you are eroded and assimilated. The battle must be finished quickly. We don't stand a chance if it drags on for too long. Sniper rifle is really ineffective against these things. Oh, he's fine. I thought for a second I hit too close. A normal attack deals more than 3,000 damage in a single hit. Normal attack? Like, not a special attack? Because <clears throat> let me tell you, there is no normal attack that is going to do that kind of damage. I just have to try the reverse collapse gun on her and see if it does enough damage. Don't 
you think the game is too boring? How about we add some fun? For example, playing a game with the Antarcticans. Or rather, with someone who used to be part of the Antarctic Union. I mean, they're already dead, mate. It's like a thousand damage is the best I can do. What is that? A blood blister? I'm not sure. Perhaps a special reaction between your modified Antarctican genes and the shrike cells. If that's the case, maybe using these blood blisters will do the trick. Increased damage taken by 400%. Okay. That's going to mess her up. Now I can reverse collapse her face into the next life. Oh, that was spicy. Oh, it's his normal attack. It is normal attack. That didn't work. How the hell do you do 3,000 damage with a normal attack? Even with a five. Even with a 400% bonus, I don't see how you do it. May have to come back to this mission later to get an S grade. Unless the status effect stacks somehow. Those guys over there are pretty lonely on the ground, aren't they? Why don't we invite them to play too? Don't you like my idea, sister? Don't relent. They're the enemy now. I'll avenge you, Captain. Two crimson blisters and one deep blue blister. I'm 
running out of these. Maybe they stack. When defeated, reduce the attack by 60% of all strike units within 5 tiles for one turn. Okay. This effect can be stacked. Okay. That's the answer. <clears throat> okay, so it is possible. These guys are about to get up in my face. Can I? Make more blood bullets. Guess not. turns. Okay, the trick will be to drag to these bring these two over here so that I can get lots of these next to each other. <clears throat> and then stack them. Stack them high <clears throat> for one really powerful normal attack. And her um Steady shot counts as a normal attack. <clears throat> so that will be the move to use. Okay, that hurt. That sound, watch out. I think it's URNC reinforcements. It shows this timing of all moments to send reinforcements. <clears throat> wow, this messes things up. They said so few people, the URNC is so stingy. You know what? I'll borrow few of your bodies first. Alright, cool. That's nice and messed up. This thing even goes after its own people. It doesn't see humans as its own people. Okay, that's bad news, bears. <laughs> It's a grenade made of your blood? Yes, I helped Antina help with the research, but it took longer to assemble than expected. It's better area of effect damage than blood bullets. With the 
target is a strike unit and in inflicts reverse blood. Increased damage taken by 200%. Do the bullets also do that? Deal damage to all units within two tiles, ineffective against player units, and inflict reverse blood to all shrike units. Okay. Oh wow, the pill can just be used anywhere on the map. Man, that really is like a cheat item. Uh, I'm thinking about the S grade objective. She can do 600 damage in single hit. I don't know how many of these blood blisters I would need to magnify that to be enough. No, oh, requires four AP to throw. because she's got the pill effect on her. So they should aim for him instead. And the trees are like just covered in blood.
very surrounded right now. This doesn't even kill them in one throw. It's truly unhelpful. Okay, steady shot is ready. All I have to do is lure her over to the blisters. Okay. This is not ideal. I just hope that I survive this turn. now. Oh. That was unhelpful. <laughs> uh. When they go off, they kill the enemy, and when the enemy goes off, they take you out. Okay. I get what we're doing now. Damn it, I should have saved. I thought those blood blisters, they just if, if they just inflicted the 400% damage effect. I didn't realize that they actually did damage as well. Killing her is easy. I mean, I could just hose her down. That's not the issue. The issue is, is that I actually want to do that objective.
Why did I do that? That was just completely dumb of me. That was just me not thinking. That was just autopilot brain. going to be a real element of RNG to doing this. I don't know how useful turrets are going to be because of the fact that they explode. And of course they're very damage resistant. Maybe if I just tuck the turrets away in the corner they can get some kickoffs. Got the pill. Okay. We're just waiting. If the turrets can pick one off, that's good. That just saves me. Saves me some ammo. All right. Looks like the medium turrets can get me a free, a free bad guy. Still got the anti-material rifle equipped. There we go. Gotta wait until she resurrects my buddies. I'm going to say that that's it for now. I think the medium turrets can just about take down one enemy. Maybe with a bit of rocket support. So I don't have to waste all my blood bullets before the horde turns up. But either way, I'm not going to complete the objective until these three resurrect. And then I have to catch her in all the blisters. And put a steady shot into her. And then once I've you know, once I've hit the objective, 
with the steady shot, I could then follow up with the reverse collapse shot while she's massively debuffed to finish the job. Which would probably, like, do 10,000 plus damage, probably. I mean, with one blood blister on her, the reverse collapse shot did, like, 3,000 damage. So, I can only imagine that with several, it would wipe her out in a single hit. Have I still got the pill effect on as well? Oh. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.